What are the 10 tips for teachers to ace any interview? Nowadays, teachers are found applying and getting interviewed very many places. But what is that that they can learn in advance and may be best prepared? So here we have tried to lay down few tips for the teachers to ace any interview that they are appearing for. And the number one is always plan in advance. Carefully plan your interview once the interview has been arranged. You may practice the mock interview session with your friends or even with the family members too. This will give a certain idea about what to expect in an interview session. Also, it's a good idea to mapping the directions to understand how long it will take you to get to the school or organization. Try to reach 15 minutes at least before the interview. Also, we would like to suggest getting your CV and outfit ready the night before the interview. If you aren't sure of the specific dress code, ask the recruiter in advance. Avoid casual dresses. Number two, background research. Always do your own research about the employer and the association. If you're not sure about what to look in the, into the employer and the association, consider these following areas. The website of the association, the vision and the values of the organization, recent events of the employer. Is there another important documents accessible to read? Job description of yours, their demographics, instructional focus, their mascot, etc. This crucial information will aid you during the interview. This will help the recruiters to consider that you are genuinely interested in their organization. You may also form some questions to ask them. These aspects will show that you took an interest to learn about them. Number three, talk beyond the day to day issues. Try to go beyond just regular day to day classroom experiences and expertise. Instead, talk about some big near term issues like teaching students online or virtually in COVID-19 effectively. This is a big issue and it's high time to bring out some of your opinions about the forthcoming nature of operation in this particular profession. Number fourth is practice the common interview questions. By preparing some most common and general interview questions for teachers, you will sound much more confident. Prepare these types of questions for an interview. For example, why do you want to join our school or organization? What are your areas for expansion or progress? What encouraged you to become a teacher? Why did you decide to become a teacher? Have you ever used technology in classroom? Explain how. Why should we hire you? Why do you love teaching? Tell us about your teaching philosophies. What is your method of classroom management? Any extracurricular which you are passionate about? We are sure there are a lot more than these that we have laid down as general questions that might prop up in your interview. Number fourth, know your job description. Well, there may be some question precise to the subject matter depending on the nature of the teaching position. An overlooked aspect of how to improve your interview skills is finding clues in the job description. Sometimes the job description holds many clues to what a school is looking for in an employee. Number five, prepare questions to ask them as well. Usually, every recruiter in the end asks, do you have any question? Formulate some sorts of question from your end that you will ask at the end of the interview. Try to avoid asking about the next steps. For example, you may ask questions like, what provisions will be provided for you when you first start in the school? Will you take me through your marking and feedback policy prospects and so on? Ask smart question instead. This will show that you have done some kind of a homework enough number six be savvy because the kids in your classroom coming from a succeeding generation are going to be even more tech savvy than you during the interview start dropping ted ed tedx or flu references etc show them that you are high tech enabled and digitally savvy you need to know how to teach online or how to teach virtually also be equipped to explain how will you use the advanced technology in your in your classrooms this is a crucial prospect in a teacher job interview number sixth 
stay alert of your body language be aware of your body language and greet everyone you meet with enthusiasm while answering during the interview try to make eye contact and smile have good posture and speak clearly well these are the simplest of tips but often they are being unnoticed be yourself and believe in yourself number 7th prepare your cv and double check Check your own CV and application. Always reread what you wrote in the letter of application and of course keep a copy of the documentation with you. The interviewer may want to explore those details in more depth that are being mentioned in the CV. Prepare in a different way depending on whether it's your first, second or final interview. Now let's see how to maintain the interview etiquettes. Well, it's very important to know about the interview protocols here are some pro interview etiquettes suggested by some of the recruiters avoid being too early for the interview 15 minutes is good enough a time know the name of the interviewer one more obvious fundamental of interview etiquette is switching off your phone don't lean forward or towards the interrogator or the interviewer avoid looking around the room don't stare for too long Don't criticize your previous employers, colleagues or jobs. Show appreciation. Don't chew gums. Pay attention and respond consequently. Don't speak over the interviewer. If your interrogator offers you a glass of water, take it even if you are not thirsty. Always carry an extra copy of your CV, a list of references along with work samples you want to show. and lastly avoid showing i don't know etiquette as well as good manners in teaching interview are vitally important as you will be preparing the future generation also this will give you a real advantage over the other candidates remember the phone interview etiquette is just as important as in a person job interview quorum next practice for the demo lesson prepare yourself for nailing the demo lesson very very important today most of the interviews involve showing a teaching lesson a practical demonstration of your better classroom skills and aptitude practice in front of people in front of the mirror with family with friends etc wherever possible but practice before getting screened finally proofread your lesson plan well remember you will have a time limit in which you will have to complete the demo lesson during the interview as well and also be prepared for the questions or the counter questions coming post your demonstration next is signs of a good interview well sometimes you just cannot tell that an interview isn't working out right away isn't it however do you know there are some signs that your job interview went well yes let's quickly have a look interviewer providing the positive feedback in the interview getting asked to come in for a second round of interview interrogator spending some time endorsing the highlights of the vacancy your interview lasted for more than 30 minutes interviewer replies to your follow up if your interviewer gave you a tour around the office we are sure there are many but these are the significant ones the bottom line and the payoff line is with every interview you will have you will be better ready to accomplish the next one and get the job the 21st century teacher training courses are also preparing the future and upcoming teaching profession and remember each interview is a learning experience don't lose your heart if this job doesn't work out for you keep your job search moving onwards and the correct break will come along with time as soon as you mature by taking lessons of your mistakes you have committed in the past we are very sure that you will evolve growing consciously and wanting to do the job that you always desire with the right aptitude that you have and the right experience that you have always be firm with your conviction delivery and preparedness if even if you fail that's just one more step towards success isn't it a right way to explain this is when you fail you learn and when you learn you grow when you grow you take one step forward and that one step forward is actually bridging you 
and taking you very close to your dream job every teacher has a great responsibility in this society yes the millennials and the generation z that those are coming up they are smarter people but teachers need to be smarter with this particular effort of mine to make a video on the tips to the teachers to ace interview might reach many and would certainly help many to not only ace but make a career out of teaching so yes wishing you all best best luck